Hello and welcome to our channel. In this tutorial I want to talk about the topology of clauses and teach you some of the topology method. So let's get started. First of all I have to say that topology means the arrangement of the polygon. And sometimes this arrangement is very important. There is a standard structure with few points. The first is that the polygons are arranged in the quad. Second, there is a loop feature in the layout. The topology that follows these two points is a suitable and standard topology. Semi-standard topologies are also used, which include a combination of quad and triangle. Well, I have a t-shirt that I create the UV for this. The dress made in Marvelous has a triangular structure, so we have to fix this topology. The first method I want to tell you is the quadrangle tool in Marvelous, that if we select our pattern and in the 3D view, right click and quadrangulate, we will see that the topology of our work changed to quad. As you can see, this topology is quad. But this topology is not regular and also, as you can see, it's a combined of a quad and triangle. This topology is suitable for some tasks such as low poly and bake. Even in video game, this topology may be used. Another way is a remesh tool, select the pattern and Right click in 3D view and select uh, remeshing. As you can see this topology is quite regular and there is a, almost a loop feature. But if we look closely at the corner of the pattern, we see that there is a triangle arrangement in this part. Another tool that exists is a remesh from topology that select the file and right click on the 3D view and select remeshing to retopology. I select the polygon count on 100, apply. There is a no change here if we select the topology edit. We can see our topology here. This option allows us to edit and you can select part of the triangle and convert it into a quad. I can select this point and this point and right click and click merge for all of these triangle meshes. And because this process takes a long time, I did not do this. Uh, I can right click and click on remesh to apply this work on my, to apply this project to my clothes. I do this for the other pattern, right click and remesh replace. The downside of this method is that after remeshing manually, all the stitches disappeared. As you can see, after I simulated this pattern falling down. So, you either have to output without simulation or sew them again. The next method is the ZMesher tool in ZBrush. I export my dress once uh, thin weld and once uh, thick. To see the ZMesher difference between these two, first I enter my thin weld. I press Shift F to see the wireframe mode. In the geometry menu, go to the ZMesher here. And the target poly count I set on the 5 and click on 0 measure. 
As you can see, I have a standard topology where all polygons are quad and there is a loop in the structures. Now I enter my SIG file. And as the same, I go to the geometry and target polygon count on 5 and zero measure. Topology is done. As you can see, the sewing edge are separated. So I forgot something here. I get back to my first file. In the geometry and uh, modified topology, I should weld these points here. So I have to set a distance to weld this point. I consider size 10 for it and then click on weld point. Now I can go to the zero measure and click on this. Now as you can see we have reached the current topology without any problem here. But the downside of this method is that all the UV unwrap we made for this mesh in Marvelous are deleted and we have to unwrap from the beginning. The next method is to use transfer attribute in Maya. First we export a thin weld output from this file and then we select all the pattern here and in the 3D view I select this I select reset to the arrangement of. As you can see my pattern is here. In the next step I should delete all the sewing. So I select the sewing and delete it and then select this file and export as a thin weld. In Maya I import both files and I want to manually set a topology for this. So I put the flat part on live and in the modeling tool I select quadro. Now I can set the point here as you can see and press shift and click I have a polygon here. If you press ctrl and middle click it's divided. I always start with the lowest resolution.
After completing the quadra topology, I close this tool and take the mesh out of the live mode. First I select the flat mesh by holding the control key and click on the topological surface that we made here and in the mesh menu I open setting of transfer attribute. This setting in this section is very important. In the upper part we select the operation that we want to perform and in the lower part the common face of the selected files. Given that local is one, then I can transfer the first UV to the second. So I put the top on UV set where the exposition is off and the sample space is a local. Right and I click on transfer. Now we can see the first UV file, apply it. Now I select the mine mesh and then select the my topology and go to the mesh attribute editor setting in here. Given up that the UV of these two files are the same, so I can shape the vertex point. So I my vertex position is on, UV set is off, and the sample space is a UV. So I can click on transfer. As you can see, they stacked on top of each other. I hide my original file here and then as you can see the edges is not well together so I have to weld these points together I select the points right click shift and right click merge vertex and merge vertex to center I do this process for all the vertex here. After welding, we can now transfer attribute again. I select my main file and then select my topology file, go to the mesh and transfer attribute. Because the previous setting has been saved, I will not enter the setting and just click on the attribute editor. 
Okay, I select my file, I delete the history, I get the copy of this. Here. Select the file and right shift right click and smooth one division all right and now then again I show my name and select my topology file and in edit click on transfer attribute I hide my this file and delete history and copy it again so right click here smooth one division all right I show my main file and select my topology in mesh I click on transfer attribute I can give it another smooth here so I select my main file and my topology file and in the mesh click on transfer attribute so delete history and copy of this you can do this as many times as you want and it depends on the amount of poly count you want so as you can see I have four meshes that change from low poly to high poly which has a standard topology and all polygons are quad and there is a loop now I can select my file and in the quad draw I can relax this topology here click on B and relax it So we create this file as 4 LOD for this one have a, a 196 faces this one have a 784 and this one is a 3136 and this one is a 12544 faces so each of this one have a UV here as you can see the UV is right and clean and now we can use it in the another software for creating the material okay guys thank you for watching this video if you have any question be sure to write in the comment to help you goodbye